This review is a little bit different. And that's because we're looking at a pre-production version of a model. So that means that some particular aspects of it are not necessarily finalized when we look at this pre-production sample. The model is of the Gotwald AK680-3 mobile crane, and it's by IMC Models. To begin with, you can see the packaging is plain, but here is the expected artwork for the final box. And using the magic of cranes etc, we'll see how this packaging looks with the finalised artwork. Yes, only on cranes etc can you see magic like this. Over we go to the cranes etc weighbridge and see how much it comes in at. And it's £5, 3 ounces, or if you prefer nearly 2.4 kilograms. Let's proceed to open up the box and get the model out. The first thing we notice is that it comes in its own Perspex display case. And that gives you a clue that this is not a die cast model, it is in fact made of resin. And we'll say more about that in a moment. For shipping, there's an internal plastic former to protect the model. So if we take the lid off and pull that out, we can then replace the display case. It is a nice tight fit on the base, and that's good because it means it's pretty well airtight. So the big advantage is it won't get dusty. Let's weigh the model out of the box, and it's £4.13, ounces, or in kilogram speak, 2.2. So this is a resin model and not die cast, and you may wonder why that is. Die cast models have quite an expensive production process, and that includes the heavy development costs of making the metal tooling or moulds. For that reason it only becomes economic when there are large volumes made, and for a die cast model that might be typically 2000 or more. For lower volume models like this Scott Ward, using resin allows the model to be economically made. That does mean that the model is a static model, but on the other hand on the plus side it allows for much more fine detailing. <laughs> We start off by looking at the display case and its good quality perspex which is quite thick. The base is rigid and has a soft feel to it. And one thing that will be added to the production models is a limited edition edge plate. Looking underneath I'm sure the production versions will be tidier than this. And you can see the model is screwed down so it may be possible to remove it for use in a diorama. Looking now at the model itself and the carrier cab is very highly detailed. And that includes the UK number plate, which is where the real crane is based. The windscreen wipers are extremely thin, and the Gotwald name is sharply rendered. The real crane is owned by Sarans, so it comes in the famous Sarans colour scheme. Here's a close up view, and you can see the fine detail of the windscreen wipers. And that detail continues inside the cab, where you can see instruments and fire extinguisher equipment. Looking at the side of the cab, and there are finely drawn window seals, and there are orange lights and sharp graphics. There's diamond plated etching around the wheel arch, and other details in this view include a beacon light and exhaust pipe. The tyres on this sample don't have branding, but the production versions will have, and you can see which wheels have driven axles and which ones don't. A tiny access ladder is another really good detail. And the resin mouldings of the side of the crane are also highly detailed. And in general, the use of resin does allow higher detail in the mouldings compared to die cast. The colour and graphics are excellent, as are the small boxes and tanks along the side of the carrier. Moving to the centre of the crane, and particularly impressive, is the slewing ring. And you can see that there is plenty of hydraulic hose detailing. Also modelled well are the connection points for the outrigger beams. And of course on the real crane these are transported separately. Moving to the front of the crane, the hydraulic ram that moves the cab is modelled. And the main connection to the boom has chevron graphics. 
and the connection holes are properly formed. Moving to the back of the carrier there are boxes, ladders and beacon lights and there are some extremely thin ladder rings up onto the crane body. The crane cab detailing is terrific too and that includes inside the cab and on the roof there's a big beacon light array and another detail highlight are the extremely thin protection bars above the cab window. The walkway on the cab deck is textured and if we zoom in we can see that the ladder has detailed rung connections along the sides and even the handrail connectors are modelled. There are tiny graphics on the windows and small lights above and if anything the windscreen wiper at the front is too thin. Taking a closer look at the rear of the carrier you can see the ladder and beacon light and textured surfaces and the rear light details are very nicely done as are the long vehicle signs and there's a spare wheel also. Interesting when viewed from the other side is this traffic cone and hopefully someone in the comments can tell us why it's there. The exhaust pipe from the crane has a nice black hole and the even bigger exhaust pipe from the carrier looks impressive. There are some different graphics on the opposite side of the carrier cab and if we go up we can look down on the moving mast and see that on the model it is fully reeved up with good quality rope. Looking into the winch drums they also look realistic with the rope windings and you can also see a toothed gear on the rearmost drum. Also nicely modelled are the rollers and the hydraulic ram for the boom butt looks particularly good. The pistons have a realistic looking section size. Let's do a dim check on the model and we start with the display case and it's about 20 inches or 51 centimetres long and measuring the height it's just over 5 inches or about 13 centimetres. With the display case off let's measure the model end to end and it's nearly 18 inches or 45 centimetres. <laughs> The Gottwald AK680 is a unique crane that's been in service for over 40 years and IMC models have made a special model of it. Although it is only a display piece with no moving parts, the level of detailing is terrific. So if you want a special model of a special crane, then it is Excellent. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. 